So risk management is core to both the FDA process and the CE mark process in, in Europe and around the world. That clients understand they want a device, but they don't fully understand the rigor of doing a good risk management process. To the extent possible, you try to design out issues as opposed to labeling the product, you know, don't do something. We use a standard called uh, ISO 14971. It's generally a medical device risk management standard. The 62304 standard defines the design and development steps that you must follow. It goes all the way from a software development plan through uh, implementation, testing, and final reporting of the verification testing of the software. It's a very detailed, very involved standard. One other thing that 62304 prescribes is uh, that you must do your risk management according to the requirements of the ISO 14971 standard. So those two standards are very, very tightly tied together. The 60601 standard also specifically refers to the ISO 14971 standard. So for any hardware risks identified, you must do your risk management according to the requirements of 14971. When clients come to us, one of the first things we do talk to them about is whether or not they've gone through a risk management exercise. And the bad news there is that if we do an assessment and find out that there are missing mitigations, that could mean a redesign of their system. One of the challenges in going through a risk management process is you want to do it rigorously, you want it to be effective, but you don't want to go too far and end up taking too long and burning out your budget. And it, it's a very difficult balance to strike. It's the cheapest to change a requirement, and then develop. It's the most expensive to find it late and then have to redesign, redevelop, retest. On the flip side, they may be concerned about things or have over-designed their system in ways that are just unnecessary. With over 400 projects under our belts, we've seen virtually every device configuration that could be imagined. And we've been through the risk process on all of these. So we understand the environment. We understand the different types of hazards. Uh, that can be associated with a device, uh, whether it's tall and slender or short and fat. We've been there before.